We are going to start with the Korean government's new growth outlook for next year. It has sharply cut the figure to below 3% as the economy faces mounting uncertainties from both home and abroad. And to tackle the risks head-on, the government has laid out a number of policy guidelines. For more on what's on the econ team's agenda for 2017, Kim Minji reports. With a wealth of uncertainties ahead, the Korean government has cut its economic growth outlook to 2.6 percent for next year, down from an earlier forecast of 3 percent. There are concerns over further rate hikes in the U.S. and increased trade protectionism. At home, consumption is down, while the country's household debt continues to climb and corporate restructuring takes a toll on the economy. In 2017, the government aims to use its economic policies to more effectively tackle these uncertainties and bolster the livelihoods of the people. To do that, it will allocate similar spending worth roughly 16.5 billion U.S. dollars to turn around weakening growth and generate more jobs. The government will also step up financial and tax incentives to boost investment and encourage consumer spending. It also vowed to continue corporate restructuring efforts to shore up the competitiveness of key industries, while keeping an eye out for signs of weakness in other vulnerable sectors. As for stabilizing the livelihoods of the people, the government plans to add tens of thousands of new jobs in the public sector to help bring down unemployment and support startup businesses with more tax breaks. And to stay on top of future trend, the government will set up a body comprising government officials and experts to keep policy up to speed with the so-called Fourth Industrial Revolution. It also plans to expand support for R&D for key technologies and encourage investment in new industries by getting rid of excessive red tape. With much uncertainty lingering at home and abroad, the government has plans to use the majority of next year's budget in the first half of the year. Given the current economic conditions, the government's policies may not produce the desired effects. Korea is now in a situation where it can only depend on fiscal policy. The country's been reliant on fiscal stimulus, and there's a growing chance the government could even draw up another supplementary budget. Although the government has said it will look at first quarter performance before deciding whether to introduce an extra budget, experts say it's important that the government puts utmost priority to contain the negative impact of the uncertainties, which are already weighing on the economy. Kim Min-ji, News.